Hello everyone, Samantha here with Crafty Sammy, and today I have an unboxing and kitting up of Diamond Art Club's Country Inn and Farm. This is by David MacLeon, and it is square, 38.6 inches by 27.6 inches. So it's pretty, pretty big. There's a quick view of the photo. I will unbox it and show it to you guys in a second. This one is quite large, so let's get into it. So I've opened up a few other Di Diamond Art Clubs before, but if this is your first time watching and you haven't opened up a Diamond Art Club, they come with everything that you need. They come with a pretty simple toolkit. So this will have your pen. It comes with a little squishy, which makes it a lot nicer. Um, you'll see a lot of diamond painters end up buying specialty pens, but this is all that you really need. Some of the other pens are a little larger, so they're, they can be easier on your hand. I'm gonna be able to get this squishy on. This one, it's a little bent. I bought this kit a while ago. I've been meaning to start it for a bit, but if you've been checking out my channel, I've been pretty busy crocheting lately. There, this one's on really good, so it shouldn't move around at all, which is nice. Sometimes you get loose ones and they move around, but there's your little tip for your single placer. And then they usually include a multi-placer. Let's, or sometimes they do, not usually. Let's see if this kit has one. So it looks like this kit does not come with a multi-placer. A multi-placer is just a piece that goes on the other end that has allows you to put more than one drill in. And this is this the single placer. And then they come with some baggies, wax, and that's what you'll dip your pen in if you're newer. A pretty basic tray. Uh, for big ones like this, you'll also see a lot of people getting their own tray. Some people prefer to use tweezers, especially for square. Now, these are pretty nice tweezers that these kits come in. And then you have a bit more wax in there. So a pretty basic little tool kit um, that comes in. Sometimes they differ, I think, depending on when you get your kit. Um, I know they've changed a few times. But everything that you need to get going. All right. Here's our canvas and our sticker sheet. Diamond Art Club's really nice in that this piece is a sticker sheet. So this is what I'm actually gonna cut these out and then I will put them on my containers. And it looks like this one, they've actually made them a lot bigger, which is really nice. So there's 54 different colors in this one. And here is the image. I have a border collie and I plan to give this to the people that we get our farm share from. Um, hopefully they like it. I just thought it would make a nice gift. I really appreciate all the hard work they do. I try to grow my own vegetables in my garden and it's so hard. You, you care for them so much and then they die. Like it's so tragic. They also have this sticker and you can use it. Um, if you were like, maybe had the, the boxes stacked, you could put this on the bottom of the box so you could tell which one it is. Or you could put it in your notebook if you keep a, a journal of ones that you've done but it's just nice and handy that they come with, with that. So something I will, like I said, I'll use those, that sheet to do my kidding up. And find the end to open. Well, I've not, what's nice about these, cause they come in that box as well. Their shipping to Canada is a little bit more expensive. I think they offer free shipping in the States, but um, it does come well protected, which is really nice. And then our drills are in here as well. Some more. Come on. There we go. So here is um, our second pack. They have them labeled two of one. No, sorry, one of two and two of two. So all of the drills in there. It's going to get a little crinkly. So if you don't like that sound, maybe just give me a mute. So as I mentioned, this is a square kit. So we can see some of the drills here. Get you the focus and from my experience with diamond art club they are really good quality consistent in size they have a nice sparkle to them the last few that i've done are round so i'm excited to get to do a square i do like the looks of squares um i'm not sure if there's any aurora borealis in this one i think it usually says if there are and that's just like the ones that have like an extra shine to it. So I won't go through all of them because I am going to kit these up. But these are the drills. And um, if, you're do if you're newer to Diamond Art Club as well, oh, sorry, get you back in focus. 
They don't come necessarily in order of number or by that, that thing. So just make sure you're watching for that when you are doing your kitting up. And now we can take a quick look at the canvas. Oh my gosh, it's so big. What did I get myself into? What I really like about Diamond Art Clubs is that I find their drill field really clear. It is poured glue, so you're not worried about rivers and such. And yeah, that looks like a really nice drill field. It's always very sticky and they have the clear canvas on here. So they, and some of my other kits have sent uh, the paper that you can put on. I'm gonna try, I got a bunch of washi tape, so I'm gonna try sectioning it off with washi tape because if you don't do that, it can be really hard to see like where you cut your lines and you do not, you do not want the top of this flipping over and touching the sticky part because it will not come off. So you need to be careful of that. So they also have their legend on two sides. We can see it on this side. Try not to bump you. Oh my gosh, it's so big. And it's also down on this side. So let's come in maybe. I'll bring you guys in a little closer just to take a look at some of the drill field. So you can see the symbols are pretty clear. Um, and the camera doesn't always do a very good justice, but they come with the colors as well, which I find just makes it easier. I did some that was all gray and the symbols were really hard to tell. I love how big the legend is on the side. Like that makes it so much easier to see. And by looking at the symbols, they're pretty clear. They're easy to make out. You can, you know, quick, pretty easily see all of the different features. We can easily see the dog. There's some cows. Uh, there's looks like a a cat here and then the barn and the, and the owl is up here. So I'm really excited to do this one. It's going to be gorgeous. I would love to get it put on the stretch canvas to give us the gift. I have a few other ones that I've done that. I, I just love the look on the stretch canvas when the, the drills kind of go around. I still need to do that for two that I finished. Such a procrastinator once I finish crafts. But I'm excited to start balancing this between crochet because my hands are definitely getting really sore with crocheting so much more than I ever have before. And this is just such a relaxing way to spend spend time. Um, I can do it a little bit more mindlessly, I find, than crochet. So now that we've taken a look at our beautiful canvas, look at the farmhouse. That's amazing. And there's like a cool truck. Oh, I'm so excited to do this. So now that we've taken a look at the canvas, I'm just going to roll it back up and then I am going to begin the fun, fun process of kidding up. I actually do like kidding up. I hate kidding down. Um, I know lots of people out there love doing both. Some people really don't like the process. So let me know in the comments below what you think of it. I know I've asked that a few times, but I love hearing from you guys about what you like most about diamond painting. So I'm moving around. My, my craft table is so small. It's just like a tiny card table. So I'm going to get set up to get kitted up. So we'll be right back. If you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I will be uh, making some whip and chat videos of the progress of this, as well as I show um, some yarn hauls on my channel and the things that I make crocheting that I have recently made an Etsy shop. So I put on there and I just love hearing from you guys. That's why I started this channel was just to chat with people about their crafts. So if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. All right, let's get the stuff to get kitted up. Okay, so I use these little uh, containers that I purchased through Amazon. I'll include the link below. Um, sometimes the ones, exact ones that I got are no longer available. I just find that it's really nice that they fully close so I'm not worried about things spilling. I might need all three for today. I try, if I, there's multiple ones, I will put like, say there's more in the bags, multiple spaces for this. I'll just put them in a row and just label the first one and then I'll move to the second one. I know some people organize it by colors. So they would put all of the yellows together rather than going by order. I'm just going to do it in order. Just um, I find it a lot easier and that way I'm not going to kind of get too jumbled or worry about missing something. What's nice about this too is then you know right after you open it if you're missing a color and I find it a lot easier than working out of baggies. But if you only have the baggies that and it works then go for it. This craft, you can spend as much money as you want in it, as into the accessories, or you can just roll with the basics, whatever works, because the kits can be expensive, especially if you get good quality kits. So if that's where you want to spend your money, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. These are a mess because I used to write Sharpie on them, and I was using them as storage until I upgraded my storage. So yeah, sorry, they're a mess. We don't do things perfectly in this house. 
Um, so sorry for all of the Sharpie marks. Uh, I was scrubbed it with my nail for like so long and my fingers were totally black. If you're using these before you put your sticker on, make sure they're the facing you the right way. The number of times I've put them on the wrong way, it, it happens a lot. So um, I kind of like it when it's this way. So make sure all your containers are facing the way that you want them to be just so you don't put the stickers on the wrong way. Because once you get them on there, then if you peel, peel them off, you kind of need to re you need to tape them to get them back on. So anyway, I know it's been a while since I've made a diamond painting video. I did a couple of oh, dog hair. Sorry, I need to vacuum. Um, it's been a while since I've made a diamond painting video. Um, so if you followed me for diamond painting and you're still here with me, thanks for hanging on. Uh, like I said, I've just been trying to focus on getting my shop open and making some things for my shop. And today I uh, was given, or my office for work is actually closed for today just to give us some extra days off, which is really nice. Um, so I was pretty excited to, to take advantage of that. And I've been cleaning today. I crocheted a bunch this morning and I'm happy to get to sit down and finally do this. I've been meaning to kit this kit up and get started for a while. Um, I usually try to do it when my husband's not around because he just wants to watch TV without all of the lighting and I need good lighting to do this. So it's been, a, it's been a, a little longer than I've wanted to, but man, has it been a week. It's not been a good, uh, good week in this household for my dog. Um, so it's, there's like a festival going on where I live. So we went to that on Saturday. So we took our dog to a boarding facility. Um, I, we have lots of friends that can watch him, but you know, it's nice to be able to take, it's a really nice facility where we took him and it's nice. I'm going to stop talking until I can find the color that I want. took me way too long to find. I'm so blind today, but I finally found 133 and it is an, an Aurora Borealis color. And you can tell because it has that extra sparkle and shimmer to it. So these ones are always really good to use the tweezers on so you don't like take off the, the additional sparkle, but holy cow, that took me so long to find. I'm extra blind today apparently. But anyway, as I was saying, so we took my dog to this really nice place um, so we could go to this festival, uh, be out late and not be um so worried about him being stuck in his he's kennel trained it's where he goes it's a safe place he's a puppy so um he stays in there while we're out of the house and the it was it's really it's been really hot where we are so they had some pools and i guess he kept going what we think happened is he kept going in the pool kept going in the water he's a border collie so runs like there's no tomorrow and his feet weren't drying he would get wet it wet again and then he would go again and Without his feet drying, I guess he got like a yeast infection in his paws, which I didn't know could happen. Um, so then they get itchy and then they lick nonstop. And he's already a licker to begin with. So um, he did that overnight and while we were out of the house before we realized what was going on. Um, so we went to the vet on, what day is it? It's Friday, Wednesday. And got that all sorted. And that was a few hundred dollars in meds. <laughs> I would spend any amount of money on my dog. So that's not a problem. Um, and then yesterday we were just doing some light playing cause he shouldn't be running. He can't go for walks with, once again, border collie. So that's like a nightmare that he can't go for walks. So we were just doing some light playing in our house and he was sliding on our hardwood floor like he has done since we got him. And he managed to somehow get his claw stuck under like our cold air intake vent out that goes at the base of the floor. Um, and it broke his claw off. So needless to say, he let off the saddest noise. I came rushing over. He was bleeding everywhere. Luckily, my husband was walking right through the door as this happened. So a bit of a rough coming home for him. But luckily, I had the help and the vet was still open when it happened. So then we rushed down to the vet. 
They were worried they were going to have to remove it and sedate him, which thank God they didn't have to do that. They were able to save his claw. Uh, they just filed it way down. But now he has a sad little booty. He's a little cast or a little booty on. He was already in his cone, but now we, and he was just getting better at not licking his paws because the meds were actually working really fast for his um, back feet where he has the yeast infection. Um, and now he is stuck in his cone. We had to get him a bigger cone, so he's getting stuck on absolutely everything. The poor, poor thing is just, oh, I feel so bad for him. And I feel like the worst dog mom in the world. Um, it's been really hot. So normally I would be going hiking today with him, but it is too hot to do that. Um, so we're just kind of hanging out in the house. I'm making sure he's not licking. I know he's in pain. So we have some pain meds for him and stuff, but oh my gosh. You know, when it rains, it pours, right? Like it was already hard enough not being able to take him for walks. And it affects, like, we, I love going for walks with my dog. That's why I adopted him, uh, was my little adventure buddy. And he keeps me company. And when you love something and they're in pain, it's so hard to watch that, right? So, so for this one, because there's so many bags of the 300s, I think I'm just going to do... I'm just going to do the one so I don't really want it to fall over into the next row. So I'm just going to do the one and refill it as I need. Um, every, everyone kits up a little differently. Some people hate refilling things as they go. I don't mind it too much. I'll just keep the colors kind of in a box on hand near me. And then I can just fill it in as I go. But it looks like this 300 is going to be a pretty big color. 938 is another one. I'm sure I'm going to live the 310 life for a bit. I have, if you've done some of the chalkboard ones, you know that um, the black and those browns just, oh my gosh, you do end up doing so many. I'm probably overfilling these a little bit. Actually, I'm going to do multiple ones because I don't like having an open baggie. So I'm going to do as many as this takes to use up this baggie. I should hopefully have enough of these that I don't have to use my, I got some from Diamond Art Club and they have the turn, turn lids. I don't like those ones as much. I find it takes more time to screw the lid off. I drop them more. Um, I do prefer just these these ones and I find these fit a little bit more but those ones are still really nice and with Diamond Art Club you get you have like the points so you can um, if you make purchases you get the points and you can get things like that for free or you can get I think maybe some pens um, so that's always really nice because who doesn't like some free stuff or you can get money off like your next kit so if you're not comfortable doing that like because that, that'll happen um, then you can use the tray dump this into the tray and then um, dump it into here. And maybe that's probably what I might start doing if I keep spilling them, but we'll see how steady my hand is today. So I just know that I need to follow that down and along. Once again, making sure that your things are facing the right way. Hopefully all of mine are so far. But yeah, so it's been kind of a bummer of a week that way. Um, going into summer, you never want to go to work when it's summertime, right? Well, our country or my province in Canada has opened up pretty much fully now, um, for COVID, which it's nice to go back to normal. I know there's a lot of debate as to, are we ready? All that jazz, but, um, it is nice to have a little sense of normalcy, I have to say, and getting back into it. But I haven't gone back to the gym yet. I did treat myself to a Peloton. So um, I do like weight training. But the Peloton system is all really nice. That you have all access to so many classes and whatnot. Oh, that's a 301. So I think I'm, yeah, I'm just going to fill up to get rid of, use up the baggies. Or I may use up the one baggie that I open. And then I'm just going to refill. Because I don't think, I don't want to have too, like, have so many containers sitting around because then I find it takes a lot longer to find kind of the thing that you want. So I'll just put the ones that I finish off to the side. But let me know if you guys have done this kit before. I've seen a few photos of people who have done it um, and it looks really nice. I'm, it's gonna, I think this is gonna be the biggest one I've done. The Tabby Cat Christmas one was pretty big. But I, yeah, I think this will be the biggest one so far. But I'm, I'm looking forward to, to starting it. It's been so, it's been quite a few months now actually since I've done a diamond painting. I think my Aperol Spritz was the last one that I finished, and I just felt like I needed to take a break. Um, I did re, my, my craft table used to kind of be in an annoying spot. 
Um, so we kind of moved it now that my dog is getting a little older and settling down. Um, so it's not so much in the way, but where it was before was driving my husband a little crazy as well. Plus I find it a little hard when you do it for so long. I find it hard, it hard to keep like my posture. I don't know if anyone else finds that as well that you kind of start hunching. So just make sure that you're watching that if you are. If you are working on it for a long time, um, just like anything, you want to protect your body so you can do it, for, keep doing it and not do like what I'm doing in my hands with crocheting where now I'm going to have to forcibly take a break because I've been doing it for a little too much. But looks like there's a lot of darker colors in this kit, which when you look at the photo, it does make sense. But there's also a lot of other colors and colors I haven't gotten to work with before in a kit. So I am really looking forward to that. That was fun about the Aperol Spritz kit. There was some really fun um, yellows and oranges. So I should have grabbed a garbage can. When you, when you kit up, I highly recommend having a garbage can because you end up with a lot of plastic. I, I've said this before on a video. I really hope they start using like compostable plastic. I feel like if we can use that in other areas, we should be able to use it in like anything. And like, it's not like these are getting wet. So you think it would be safe to use the compostable plastic for these where you do not need these little baggies after you use it. I, if I, can. I hate when you get to this point, it's like playing like chicken. Like how can I get it to fit without absolutely spilling them everywhere? or overstuffing my little container. I didn't want to make a fourth one. But it's been, like I said, it's been so hot here, um, like 30 degrees Celsius, which I'm not sure how much that is in Fahrenheit, sorry, but it's hot. And I don't handle the heat well. I've already gotten heat stroke by spending some time at the festival that we were at. I'm, I'm pale, I'm not made for it. I live in Canada. I live in my city for a reason. It's not, it doesn't get that hot. I like like mid twenties, not to be picky, but I'm gonna be picky. And 30 degrees Celsius for me is too hot. And it's very dry here. So it's a very dry heat, which I know like muggy heat is probably worse, but I feel like this just, yeah, I kinda, it's very draining. So we haven't been able to go on any hikes and now we're getting the smoke because there's a ton of fires going on in the province next to us and in the states. So that's kind of coming up this way, which is sad, but once again, you're not gonna get temps like this and not, not have that happen. Um, and I won't go hiking in smoke because it's, it's just so, I did, my friend and I did a really, really easy one. I'd say it was more of a walk than a hike. It was before I had my dog. Um, and you could just feel it. It was like your lungs were so heavy and you got really ex exhausted a lot faster. So it's just not good for you. And I wouldn't do that to my dog. It's not safe for him. I would hate if he got into some kind of distress on a mountain, um, then it's pretty tricky, especially if you're exhausted from the smoke to, to fix that situation. So really, I was really hoping to get a lot more hiking done, but those high temps came pretty much as soon as, um, the snow melted enough to get to get up into some of the higher elevation hikes. Um, for a long time there, it was like waist deep snow, anything you got higher. So, so um, that was kind of crappy that as soon as we could get up there, the smoke settled in, but it, it is what it is. I'm happy this past winter, I really started cross country skiing a lot. Um, so I'm almost actually looking forward to winter again to go cross country skiing. Um, I found, find it a lot easier you know, we have more opportunities to do the skiing than uh, cross or hiking, it seems. Um, and in the winter or summertime, everyone's busy. Like we're going to the lake on the long weekends. Um, we're just, you know, doing a lot of other things, trying to have barbecues now that we can actually have people over. We have a smoker, so we're really hoping to have um, a makeup birthday for me since restrictions went in place right as my birthday came around. So hoping to have a little bit of a makeup party would be a lot of fun. Um, but that just eats up the weekends when you go hiking. So, so I might have to take some days off now that um, I can't. It's like already, what, what is it? It's already July 16th, which is insane. July is halfway, halfway over. We only have, we don't have all that nice of weather all year round. So summertime, you really live for the summer and it, it goes by in a blink of an eye, which is just so sad, but. I hope everyone else out there is having a nice summer. Maybe where you're watching, it's actually your winter. Um, and hopefully then you're able to enjoy your winter. Um, if it is your winter, it's probably still pretty nice. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I remember going to Australia in their winter and every, all the locals or the Australians were in Ugg boots and big sweaters and cardigans and I was walking around in my tank top and flip flops. So obviously a tourist because it was still so warm for me even though they all thought it was so cold, but it's just funny what you can get, what you get acclimatized to. But let me know what you guys are working on. Are you doing a diamond art club right now? Have you found another company that you really enjoy? I know a, quite a few more seem to be popping up where they're um, based out of like the US um, and they offer like licensed paintings where that's always the issue with like AliExpress. I think you can, there's a, there is a lot of stolen art out there. I can hardly draw a stick, good looking stick figure. So I can't imagine what it's like putting you know, your heart and soul into creating um, a drawing or a painting and you license it and then someone is able to steal your image. That's, I guess, always the risk, but, you know, I always feel bad for that. Um, I haven't really been watching too many diamond painting videos lately either, um, but I definitely miss them. I know I really enjoy Rachel Ray's channel. I love her whip and chats and I love just getting to see what she works on. She gets to work on, so, she works on so many cool paintings and find so many good ones. Um, she's actually how I got into diamond painting was through watching her channel. Um, and being, and then I also, that's how I, you know, bought diamond art club was I think some of my first ones, this home craftology was maybe she maybe where I got some of my first kits cause I liked their images the best, but I did have some issues, which I talk about in other videos with some of their kits. Well, I'm not sure if they've gotten better or not, but, um, there, I had is serious issues with the sizing of their drills. So I probably wouldn't order from them again. Like they have great options for images, which like I said, is why I ended up going and getting kits from them. But it did really affect the um, outcome of my kits because you could see all the spacing and like I took up, like I was being so careful with my placement and everything was within the lines, but it's still, cause I was doing, they were squares. You could still see all this spacing um, it was with like the 3865, like the white and the three tens, the blacks. And that would made up huge portions of the kits that I was doing. So that was a little upsetting. Sorry, it takes so long to get these stickers off because I don't have nails. My nails break like as soon as they get somewhat kind of long. So it always is hard for me to get the stickers off. <laughs> That's really all that I like we haven't been doing too much because of COVID and I know it's a little sensitive of a subject for a lot of people right now because like some countries are going back into lockdown um, I know the states lives pretty free I have a friend there and my family there and they live pretty much as if nothing's going on um, most of our my city has like 75% with the first vaccinations and I'm not gonna get into a, a talk about that so no comments on that. I'm not going to talk about my, my like, I'm not going to get into it. I just don't want to start that, th that debate. Um, each his own, do what's, do what's right for you. But we are fortunately um, at a pretty good percentage, which is why we've reopened. Um, but I know a lot of other places have shut down again. So we're just trying to, I'm just trying to be outside as much as possible. Hopefully my, my poor dog can heal quickly. Hopefully work doesn't get too busy. Um, I mean, like I said, I'm so excited to get working away on this the drills are looking to be really awesome and it i what i like about kitting up is getting to see all of the colors that you're going to end up working with before you kind of start um especially a kit like this with so many different colors there's um it's and, and you have the opportunity to get, maybe use colors you haven't seen on previous kits so let me know what you're working on the, in the comments below um do you like Diamond Art Club? Do you have another per favorite? Do you, what, do you like square, round? Do you like kidding up? Anything you wanna comment on diamond painting wise, or if you have any questions that I can try to answer, I would be happy to do that. And then just don't forget, once again, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button if you wanna see more, and if you like this, that like button. But I always feel like I end up rambling. So just to save myself from that feeling, I'm probably just gonna throw on some some music, speed this up, because I'm also going super slow, as I apparently am so blind today with seeing the colors that I want to grab. Um, but this is pretty much the process that I do for kitting up. 
Um, if you don't, if you have a company that doesn't have the sticker sheets, you could get little square labels or round labels depending on um, the type of container you use. And then you could just write them on or if they have a sheet that's on a sticker sheet, you could cut them off and then tape them on. I've done that with other kits as well. Whatever works best for you and what keeps you the most organized and keeps your drills safe from spilling. I think Diamond Art Club has a pretty good um, like policy around if you spill your drills, like they'll send you some replacements. If you're on any Diamond Art Club groups, like on Facebook, the, the community is really good at if you post that you spilt and you need some, pretty much you'll get like a ton of offers to have them sent to you. So uh, if you're not on any of those groups, I highly recommend it because it's, it's also a lot of fun to see what everyone is working on. You know, you always have some people that just go on there to complain. The one I found was during COVID, like the shipping times and complaining about that. But it was like, well, we're at a glo global pandemic. The world is shutting down. People can't get PPE. Of course, you're not gonna be able to get your diamond painting, but that's just me being a little cynical maybe. Um, so I'm going to speed this up, throw on some music. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. Bye.